Hey guys, so today I'll be reviewing this TVS Bharat Gold keyboard. So if you are in India and you are planning to buy a mechanical keyboard, then this might be your only option because of your budget. Because even though keyboards of brands like Corsair or Razer are available in India, they are actually a lot pricier than this one. Or maybe you just want a no-nonsense keyboard. So today I'll help you to decide whether you should go for it or not. So this keyboard is actually quite popular in India. Uh, you will see it in many offices, banks, etc. So for price of around 2000 bucks, I think this, this keyboard is a really great deal. And it is almost a surprise that a mechanical keyboard with Cherry MX keys can be priced so low. So let's start with design of this keyboard. As you can see, this keyboard is very basic and utilitarian, which isn't a bad thing actually. As you can see that some of the best keyboards like this DAS keyboard also has the very similar key layout. The plastic is really good one, but I really hate the texture of this keyboard. I think that having a matte texture would have made this keyboard seem a lot better. The plastic is really strong and I think that it can withstand a lot of punishment. And the rubber feet at bottom are also very nice. The USB cable is also very thick and rugged, so I think that durability shouldn't be an issue. You can also unfold the nice feet at the bottom if you want to have the keyboard at an angle. So now coming on to the typing experience, I think that it is definitely a lot better than the membrane keyboards that I have used. The keys are very tactile and clicky, so every key press registers very nicely in your mind. So I think the best feature of this keyboard is that it has Cherry MX Blue switches. Cherry MX is the industry's standard in keyboards. So if you buy a keyboard that is a lot more expensive than this one, which also has Cherry MX Blue switches, the typing experience is going to be more or less the same. Keyboards with Cherry MX keys or mechanical keyboards in general last a lot longer than membrane-based keyboards. So any mechanical keyboard can be a good investment because they last for a long time. The best thing that I have observed while using this keyboard for four or five months is that the typing experience is so nice that it makes you want to type more. So if you are a content writer or a programmer, then you will feel like doing more of the work, which is a really big deal. And even the general tasks like switching through windows by pressing alt tab and using the control commands is very nice as every key press registers in a very nice way. So even in programs like Photoshop or Premiere Pro, you will feel a difference while using this keyboard. And if you're a gamer, then, then games like Mortal Kombat or even Super Meat Boy will be a lot easier to play on this keyboard because you'll be able to execute those combination of keys uh, very easily because every key press just registers so well in your mind that you won't have a confusion regarding whether you have pressed the key or not. So I'll just give you guys a demonstration of typing on this keyboard. Now I'll also give you a comparison of, of noise it makes in comparison to the membrane based keyboards. The issue with membrane keyboards is that uh, they are rather good when you first buy them but over the year or two the keys feel kind of sticky and wobbly. So it uh, really ruins the typing experience. The keycaps are not the best, but I think they serve their purpose really well. The thing I dislike the most about the keys is that the printing on the keys is not very good and they don't resemble a high-end keyboard at all. The keys also have this rupee symbol if you are into that. You just have to download a font from their website and then you can use this key for typing rupee symbol. Now let's come to deciding whether you should be spending more money on a higher end mechanical keyboard or not. So with a higher end mechanical keyboard, you will get features like RGB lighting and different cycle and breathing effects. And more importantly, uh, better keycaps and a much better design than this one. 
You might also get features like volume control and other media keys or features like USB hubs which are actually very nice to have. But I think that those features don't add a lot to the typing experience or the basic functioning of the keyboard. I don't think that those features are worth spending 4 or 5 thousand more than this one. But of course if you have a higher budget or you want those features then you should definitely go for those ones. So in conclusion I think that this keyboard is amazing for the price and if you are planning to upgrade from the mechanical keyboards then this is a great choice. If you are a content writer, programmer or gamer or even if you use your computer a lot then this keyboard will give you a very nice experience and this keyboard will also last a lot longer than those ones. The only disadvantage I can think of is the printing on the keys and a very old design uh, but of course those are uh, very minor things. So I hope this video has helped you in deciding whether you want this keyboard or not. I could definitely recommend it to anyone. I think it is amazing for the price and once you switch to mechanical keyboards you will never want to use a membrane one. So thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.